<laughs> you don't want me to? No, you're you want to sit? No, I'll stand. You want to stand? I don't want to make you mad. I'll stand. Don't go, bud. We're good, bud. Listen, we're all here to make money. We're not coming there. That's here. Yeah. So I'm just going to stand over here. <laughs> so, I think you're where are we right now? Let him break. You want me to stand? No, 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 I want to stand. Just sit and relax. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Is this on? No, this is not on. This is on. Here comes you two. Can I, can I curse? Round two. You can say whatever you want, man. You can say whatever you want. You're not offending anybody here. <laughs> Believe me, you're not going to offend any of us. Gannis scold. None of us. <laughs> All right, I just, don't know where I'm sitting. So that was just a joke, people. <laughs> Joke's on you. Could you give me one of those uh, stools, please? Yeah, I got to sit on you. I just can't sit on All that. right, so take two. Jizz couch. <laughs> oh, now um, you have standards? I don't want to sit on the jizz couch. <laughs> I mean, it's a good couch, but... Joe, and, and Joe Ben, and uh, Newman. Jason Newman. 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 So you're at Average Joe's. This is where you're going to be, where there's going to be lots of uh, talent. Saturday lots night. Of talent for you. More than last night? <laughs> yeah. You showed up on a Thursday night. I, there was nothing here but tractor driving talent. <laughs> yeah, but last Thursday you couldn't even park oh, yeah, down yeah. to the highway. I know. Last yeah. Thursday was insane. <laughs> Thursday's very hit and miss here, but whatever. It's Syracuse. Last, I mean, night, last Thursday was better. Yeah, it's crazy. Last night's talent would uh, probably give you something that made you itchy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Well, well, basically anything in Syracuse can make you itchy. But. Yeah, there's a lot of pigs here. Wait, Sean, <laughs> Sean, we were almost over for fucking two here. We were almost for, almost 0 for 2. <laughs> Destiny was a horror. <laughs> Sean, Sean, there's a mic if you want to get up here and talk for a second. You're good? You're in a suit. No, when he gets up on the stage, uh, th things get broken. Yeah, he breaks everything. Not my, not my headphones, but... Um... Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Cox, so, really, like, like, um, so you're, you're part of this now, Brandon Rakavaka, and uh, D. Snyder, he's the other brand ambassador, too? D. Snyder was the first. Uh, I guess you're into... Heavy metal, <laughs> yeah. music. Oh, yeah, uh, this is what it is. The house he don't do what I do, but um, he's out there. They just signed uh, Lennox Lewis. In, oh, no uh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, oh, wow. That's UK. really awesome. And I think there's a, uh, a fucking rap group called Lordy <laughs> in England, I guess. I don't know. But Lennox Lewis. Lordy. Lord. 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 That, that's, Lord? A, that's a big fucking dude, Lennox Lewis. He's a big dude. Yeah. Six, I'm, eight. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. They're covering movies, music, entertainment, sports entertainment. Probably uh, somewhere down the line, we may get more Sopranos. Oh, oh cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, at least for cans. I'm coming out with my can. Oh, you guys are coming out with a... Um, Seltzer? Drinkable, uh, ready-made. Yeah, ready-made cocktail, right? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very, very so, cool. Is that going to be the same thing like with your own... You, you're going to have like your own can? I'm going to have my own can. I came up with the flavors. Um, oh. oh, so you have input on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always like to put a little twist on... Um, you know, like a limoncello, but with a little twist. It's going to be oh. made with basil. Well, you so you have a background in as a chef. Yeah, I was a chef for. So that kind of goes over to like the mixology kind of a portion of it with the flavor. And I also cook with the vodka. I make oh, oh, you do oh. vodka, yeah. So I do that in uh, uh, expensive, restaurants. Expensive uh, sauce. Yeah, it is. <laughs> especially the way I do it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So you, um, you don't like you, you eat? Uh, you don't you mostly vegetables? What? Do you eat? what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> hey, you got that fucking joke. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god! Wait, was that the fat joke? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a good one though. <laughs> Shut up! Your fucking stool's creaking oh, over there. Oh come on, come on, Vicky. <laughs> 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 <That's good. laughs> so messed up. I'm surprised you're not on the floor. Right okay, so oh, let's whatever. get this. Let's get the, this portion up. So you have all the um, uh, tents, right? We're gonna do the cocktails. Yep. Oh, we're gonna have. Oh, so we're next to you. We're gonna have a second bar set up with your own bartender making those just those drinks for people. Those cocktails. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be awesome. So gonna be just the rock of vodka uh, second the Vito bar. Tini. And you'll be here in this lot. He's a fan. <laughs> oh, God, I love it, no. we, have that, we have the book with the, with the drinks in it, so we know what drinks we're going to be serving. What? Yeah, there's going to be uh, we have table we have tabletops. Tabletops, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. So it's going to be a great. It, it's literally one of the best bands too. I think too. It's going to be full. <laughs> have with them, and they bring a mix of talent. So there's talent <laughs> with teeth. There's talent with no teeth. There's talent that looking that's looking for a job. There's talent that's looking for that guy to take care of them. What's there's the a lot of hairspray. Called scars and stripes. Scars and stripes. Yeah, they're they're, 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 they're best. like modern rock. They're awesome. That's they play every day. But of the they're week. one of the biggest bands in the series, so. They just play seven days a week everywhere they <laughs> want to play. <laughs> I think they're playing right now. Modern rock. Modern oh, rock. Modern rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, one of them they is get playing a lot of somewhere. Girls. A lot of younger talent. 
<laughs> no, oh. a lot of hairspray. <laughs> a little bit more college tuition to pay. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, a lot of daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on my lap, you little hula. <laughs> I'm going to sign this bottle in your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Malacopa? They're going to have me. <laughs> Pull that me wagon out. I'm going to put this bottle right in it. Take a case, you <laughs> Things are looking up. <laughs> Things are looking up. All right. Yeah. Oh, and it's just a asshole. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Fucking Newman. Oh, <laughs> my daughter. Sorry about my daughter's that. Here. Emily, earbuffs. Oh, sorry about that. How old? 17. Nice <laughs> oh, 14. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> So, this is great. No, it's great. I'm very excited. It's going to be a good night on series. So a really uh, lot of Soprano fans uh, in the audience. Oh, my God. Everybody. <laughs> all, all, five these, <laughs> all five of my regulars. All these guys are showing up. There's, they all got good jobs. They Couldn't all got tell. their own seat assignments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you will see them in those exact same seats on Saturday night. <laughs> They'll be there tonight at 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have jobs? <laughs> This is a job. We're not even open yet. Oh, <laughs> get, we don't open until three. Man, I don't know how keys. they got this out here. Man, they, they didn't leave. Keys. <laughs> they didn't yeah, leave. they got their own keys now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, my God, that's great. I love right, but you want to well, anything? Uh, maybe some, uh, anybody got questions about the show, perhaps? Uh, I uh, oh, I know what. Uh, Al wanted to uh, reenact the scene. Oh, um, no, no, the no, 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 he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> no, I love Sopranos. I mean, obviously, the big, the big thing is, obviously, you know, that's a huge thing. Like, no one saw that coming, you know, when, you know, it's kind of crazy, too, how that was 17 years ago when that ended, but uh, how time flies. I but love Sopranos. It was so out of left field to see uh, a gay, obviously, character. Now, was that kind of based on a real-life situation? Um, I, uh, well, first of all, you know that I played two roles, right? Yes. I, yes? No, I didn't know that. Didn't right. Know that. So the first season, I uh, was a bakery customer. I walk into the bakery, and Christopher... Oh, went, I remember. Oh, he shoots him in the foot. Shoots him. Yeah, yes, yes. I, just, yes. I just watched I was, that. I just I watched Gino. it. Gino. Yes, you were Gino. That's why I was I was confused. Like, I just watched it. Because I just episode. restarted watching it, and I saw you, and I, I didn't... Th yeah, so I was trying to get bread. I go, what about my bread? And, and so and then they brought me back as Vito. Oh, and, that's awesome. And, and so then, they put your foot in the door then for... Yeah, I don't know why. I guess they recognize talent, obviously. <laughs> they recognize him. Yeah. But uh, that, that, that guy's a dick sucker. No, but he's got the freaking look of Italian mobster. Like, I don't want to mess with him right now. I just ran to my car when that happened. I was like, just so, get me out of here right um, now. I got to kill Jackie Jr. season three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Back of the head. And season four, uh, by then the show had blown up. And um, I didn't want to like be like a background kind of, you know, line A, line there, and so on. So I was reading a book called Murder Machine. True story about a crew. Of oh, the Gambino family. Yeah, of course. Correct. And um, it was about Roy DeMeo had a bar in Brooklyn. And uh, they had a, an apartment upstairs. So he used to kill guys in the bar, bring them upstairs, chop them up in the bathtub, drain the blood. Jesus. And a guy in the um, crew, his crew, was gay. And I said, wow, that's you know something you never see. It's kind of interesting. So I brought it to the attention of the writers. And I said, look... Um, this is a true story and uh, be interesting. And I'm, you know, I'm a self-taught chef and actor, and I wanted a challenge. Playing a wise guy is easy uh, because I grew up around those guys. You, you're Brooklyn, from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn right? Brooklyn, yeah. So um, I suggested it, and um, they wound up doing it. It's not what I had in mind. I was on the wrong end of that blowjob. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, not, a, not not if you're well, Al. Oh, God. <laughs> Al's a guy in the crowd we're talking about. He's over there. He has no teeth, though. You can't see him. Oh. That's <laughs> You'd be on the right end of that Pay one. extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's called, that's called a, a Syracuse special. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, that's what you get at 2.30 here at this bar. <laughs> Philly, Philly's got their special. <laughs> so um, that scene, I was watching with 20 guys. They fell off their chair. Um, but that whole... That whole storyline changed my life. You know? Yeah, I think it was. I mean, it's kind of like the more. I mean, you definitely yeah, went from a background guy to a like the pop. guy. That's the, the guy. That's a memorable. The whole moment. season based around yeah. killing this guy. Yeah. Yeah. It so was you awesome. know, they said about Vito was um, he's great on a piano, but he sucks on the organ. Oh no, <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Yeah, oh wait, wasn't he uh, Tony Soprano's biggest earner too? I was his biggest earner, and that was the dilemma for him because. Well, the, the they would stop doing business with him because of that. But yeah. then I was making money for him, so he wouldn't let it go. But 
they wouldn't do business with him. So I, I've been like talking about this event for about two weeks now. And you know, we talk Sopranos, you talk Sopranos, everybody's talking about the character Sopranos. But I say, Vito, everybody knows who you are. <laughs> the gay so guy. That's the, no, <laughs> that's just the thing. Like, every but, New York character, everybody, if I said, you know, Tony, they know Tony, they know you. They know Carmen. They they do in uh, Carmela. Carmela, but it was just like they knew these things. But if you ask, they it instantly came right up. You you instantly came right up into the uh, into the I, scenes. I mean, and the, I'm very proud. I'm listen. I'm blessed. Uh, I'm lucky. But I also made my own breaks. I uh, went from a fucking nondescript bakery customer, Gino, to like a prolific. You know, like an icon. On the an icon. Yeah. show ever. An icon. I got my own action figure. The, oh, that's you know, awesome. The, uh, I got my own gift. Um, uh, Seriously, through a bobblehead. I try to get it in the car, bobbing in the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. it's hard to see that face when you're buying out. Yeah. But um, we're gonna do a leather outfit one. You know what's what's with the a guy ball, with a ball do? gag and everything. Oh God, I'll what's buy that guy one. I gotta do to bob, uh, buy you a drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh That's Jesus. Yeah. No, the sauce. So it's you know it's been. Uh, like I said, that, that whole thing changed my life. Well, the show is huge, and like, there's not a person I don't know that hasn't seen at least an episode of it. So, well, like, under 21 year olds, uh, I found that out the last couple what? weeks. <laughs> but even 17, 18, now they're in college, they start that, watching. That's it. when they start watching when the college done. You know, their parents used to watch; they weren't allowed. But now, 16, 17, 18, I constantly get it. You know, so it's like this keeps coming back around then. And it holds up. It's production it does. Values is so good. I just started watching it again. The whole series, you get so you get sucked into it. When the last, it's the last season, the last episode of Sopranos, I felt like I got gutted. I was like, I didn't want it to. Oh, end. where it ended my, at the diner. Yeah, it was yeah. my end. Like so I couldn't believe like, it. Your death scene was like, well, oh, it was just awful. It was hard. Yeah. Awful to watch. It was hard. Uh, you know, it, it's memorable. I mean, I, yeah, it's I, memorable. I, I've had a lot of ideas. You know, I wrote a cookbook novel. I have uh, an NFL licensed product. But that, uh, well, I had one idea that backfired on me. I came out with my own pool stick. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's messed up. It was a, yeah. That's so messed up. <laughs> so, yeah, and, you know, I, have my I don't book know what to say. Right now. The meal to die for. Do you, have a, do you have a book though? I, it's a cookbook novel. I oh. wrote it many years ago. Uh, called the meal to die for. Okay. The pool cue was called the uh, uh, cue to die for. <laughs> oh and Jesus! And the uh, the tagline was. Um, does this cue make my ass look fat? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So oh, my God. I'm starting to I was right the poster now. boy for Glad, <laughs> oh, you know, the gay lesbian. Yeah. And then when I came out with that, yeah. they made a big fucking thing out of it. And I had to pull it. They, they complained to HBO. Oh, this is all real? Yeah. What? This is all real? Yeah. Oh, oh I thought it was a joke. Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no. It's real. That's it's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Fucking the it's Ray. fucking incredible. Who play. I gave him a Q stick. He was fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. Holy Q shit. to die for. Wow. That's awesome. Great. Right, anything else you wanted to get in there? Nah, the show is great. Uh, it's too bad. Are, are they rebooting it at all or no? No, they came out with the movie. I mean, they can't because too many guys no. have passed. But the, the movie, which I never saw, I knew... And Soprano yeah, fans right. weren't... Uh, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, forget about it. Well, aside yeah. from that, um, so we're launching this. What else do you have in the works for yourself professionally? Um, uh, I have... Um, my book is being talked about turning it into a series. Oh, fine. About going to restaurants and uh, where mobsters eat. Oh, that's a great idea. Dishes. That's a great idea. And how they idea. like it prepared. I'd watch that. Um... And ultimately, wind up getting whacked, like in the past. That's why it's called a meal to die for. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm busy with the vodka, doing cooking events, cocktail lounges, um, bars, and just liquor stores, bottle signings. So you've been doing a lot of promoting too. I've been seeing a lot of you doing, seeing a lot of you doing promoting for other businesses. And yeah, I saw you on stuff. Facebook. You were at Vino Mania the other uh, with uh, Gary Decker. Oh, that was downtown yesterday. Pearl Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. He's a funny guy. Hey, he don't stop at the jokes. <laughs> he don't stop with the jokes. <laughs> He's got some one-liners. Yeah, he does. Um, Are you going to try any pizza yeah. while you're in Syracuse? You figured that out? I mean, what you're hearing right now. Have you tried to go to like any pizza shops? Any idea of anything you want to try out? Or is Syracuse known for the pizza? Yeah, we have a lot of pizza. You're we have in great Vito. bakeries, like great 10, pizza. Well, you're in Baldwin's right now. You're There's about a, ten pizza shops in, uh, here. Average Joe's, the house of the award-winning Taste of Baldwinville pizza winner. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Ten years in a row, right? We have pretty good pizza. It's, yeah. uh, it's, uh, not, it's not super thin. It's a little bit thicker, though. So. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, you got to try it out. Try it out tomorrow. Yeah, Real quick, though. So you grew up in the Bronx or Brooklyn? Brooklyn. 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 Um, now, in the story of the Bronx Tale, this is a legendary movie, obviously. Is that a real story or is that something that took place? It's based on Chaz's life. Um 
I don't know how much he uh, embellished, I mean, because everybody does, but I'm sure that he grew up like I grew up, around guys. And uh, uh, I don't know if it's, you know, fact for fact, but I know that... Uh, Faction. Yeah. Well, being being in the being in that. Well, um, so I mean, real fast, so Newman, what you were saying before we started recording. I didn't say any of this stuff. Don't that, listen to this guy. That John, I, I that, never. That John Gotti was a faggot. <laughs> I never said any of this stuff. Don't listen. To <laughs> question, here's a quick question. I was gonna go with. Um, do you know? Have you met any like real gangsters? Like, do you even hung out with them because of the show? Because of like who your character and who you uh, are? Do, do I know them? Yeah. Do you know like real gangsters? <laughs> I, I was, oh my god, that's scary I, shit. That's not screw this guy. Okay. <laughs> that's why I can't be talking about John Gotti. <laughs> oh, I didn't see shit. But um, Oh my god. Well, I'm crap. sure you probably more anything, you probably get a lot of wannabe gangsters come up to you, like think that well, they're think that they're <laughs> you know, I got married late. Um I don't know if you ever saw my uh if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, yeah. You know, a picture of the cast is that my Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. So yeah. I had like uh almost five hundred people at my wedding. And I had a lot of mobsters, a lot of wannabe mobsters, oh, guys that thought they were mobsters, guys that were going to be mobsters. I had a ton of them. And um, the whole cast was there, and they were drinking and, and had the microphone. They were singing and telling stories and saying great things. And Stevie Van Zandt had the best uh, line of the night. He said, uh, I want this date to go down in history that on this night, the crime in New York City dropped by 50%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at your wedding. So that that awesome. was the best fucking line. That's great. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, I grew up with a lot of guys that, um, you know, they just had a big bust. Uh, to, uh, what is it? This week? They Ten guys from the uh, Gambino's uh, Staten Island. Oh, that's just wow. something Brooklyn. Yeah. 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 It goes on. It's still doing fucking shakedowns. Wow. That's Jesus. crazy. In this day and age. You just Nonsense. Just <laughs> Well, you just think this day and age with technology and everything, just that's just something you just think of being in the past. Yeah, yeah it's not I, there. They haven't really um, gotten with the times. <laughs> they're, they're like 1950. Upgrading the crime. Yeah. I, Flip you know, phones. Be like white collar. <laughs> yeah. They got myself a burner. At least, at least come out with the iPhone 15. Or yeah. <laughs> I know. You know. Uh, All right, uh, guys. I get all this stuff. I turn. Thank around. you so much. Yeah, I appreciate. It. We around. really do. I mean, I we don't know. So come out eight o'clock on Saturday night. He's gonna be signing bottles, taking pictures. Yeah, I got a lot I'll of bottles. Some, I gotta uh, sell people. So get the fuck out here. I gotta yeah. be honest. With you. Please, got, I'm gonna get on the phone and try to find some talent for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, this you, is I, your talent you like producer. Teeth? I mean, this, this, like a teeth optional. I mean. <laughs> Is there is there a talent bet like a bat signal for yes. talent? Like it's a fat signal. I got a fat signal. I got a bunch of fatties that are going to show up. So as, you know, a signed bottle. I mean, once I kick, it'll be worth something. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. I'm getting my bottle. <laughs> and I'll uh, have some uh, memorabilia. I'll be signing too if they want to buy. Cool. Yep. And then there's his own uh, bar next to him uh, selling all their signature drinks. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And um, are we doing the Bada Bing contest? You know, the next Bada Bing girl. Bada Bing contest. Oh yeah. That? We, we Does that club even exist in Syracuse anymore? There is a Bada Bing. Yeah. They're closing the strip clubs down right now in Syracuse. Oh, really? One. Yeah. Bada Bing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I, think that. Like, how are they not a sponsor today? There's some real here. talent there. Yeah, there. Girls here. You know, I didn't, I didn't even think of that. We need to get on the phone right now because they're literally on this, like, there's rampant. They're trying to close all the strip yeah, clubs right now in Syracuse. Club. Where are all these pigs at right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Bada Bing the old Night Lights? I think no. it is. Yeah. Is it? Um, I think or is it a separate one? Separate one. Wolf it same logo and everything. They're, they're basically trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it was it was not the bottom big. Like, uh, <laughs> it was the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom boom. It was, it was the <laughs> nasty one. The nastiest pigs in Syracuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. A Aruba called Sopranos Bar. Um, but um, yeah, we can uh, pick out Miss Bada Bing, and uh, I'll be signing body oh, you'll parts. Be the, you'll be the judge of that. Yeah. <laughs> sign in boxes. Uh, I'd love to do that. Yeah. Did he say sign in box? He said sign in box. That's awesome. With his dick. I, I With his that. dick. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> this boy, you day. pig. <laughs> <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> yard pig? Oh, not well, no. We should introduce the yard pig. Right. You want to meet no, the we... sloppiest pig in Beville? She'll probably All be right, here hugging on her new boyfriend. for uh, doing this for us. <laughs> And Newman, focus. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So we end every oh, show God. with two claps. So oh, thank you very much, Joe. And with that, <laughs> yeah, see you next Tuesday. See you next two Tuesday. Claps. Thank you. Oh, man, All that right. was awesome. Oh, Much better the second yeah. time. <laughs> no, we didn't even get to that. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. You'll be here. So what, obviously, so what obviously you're here tomorrow. Hey, thank you. Are you going to be here tomorrow? <laughs>
<laughs> he wants to take a picture. No, he's a, he just doesn't find me. Okay, uh, ben, we want to get a picture real fast. Oh, thank you, bro. You ready? No, bro. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, um, all right. Awesome, man. Yeah, it's dark. Oh, we got it. We got it right here. Look at me. Are you saying Sarah? 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 What's that? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. And that's Joe's wife. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I Christmas cards. I got it. Oh, we're over here. This is called Sarah. 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 This is